हरे कृष्णा ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Hare Krishna thank you all for joining this uh, morning uh, japa session uh, very glad and happy to be associated with the wonderful uh, devotees uh, i know shikara prabhu for many uh, for many years and uh, wonderful uh, lead wonderful devotee and uh, thanks for giving this wonderful uh, small short opportunity so that i am getting associated with uh, uh, the, the, the devotees who are so uh, nicely chanting so i think this part of uh, activity is also very very important Uh, from a sadhana perspective so today what i um, plan to give you is a very short one it's called as uh, this is by shila prabhupad's wonderful um, very nice uh, devotee um, disciple uh, mahatma prabhu uh, maharaj uh, maharaj has been uh, doing this japa confirmations affirmations workshops across the world various locations also this you might have already gone through or this you already might have known but uh, repetition is always can be okay so i thought uh, i'll just give you a uh, quick some spe- specific meditations or specific affirmations which will focus on our japa okay so uh, this has been proved this has been um, uh, well taught and then also experienced through various workshops and many of the uh, devotees aspiring devotees who are doing one round three rounds 10 rounds five rounds they all have come back and then gave the feedback that yes this is working for us so any practical way any way by which we are able to improve on our sadhana by which we are able to see that we are able to progress and we are able to finally taste that yes i want to really continue my chanting i want to increase my rounds so the, the ultimate goal is towards that side right so we all gather daily on a on a daily basis on a weekly basis to ensure that we progress on that aspect and um, this uh, affirmations has been very uh, fruitful across the world okay it is irrespective of uh, the type of people irrespective of the nature is but what would be it. these affirmations have been good uh, so i thought in the next uh, 20 minutes i will just quickly run through um, and i'll also share certain specific points in which uh, uh, which we got the feedback and i'll also share certain specific uh, realizations on it okay maybe i'll switch on my switch off my camera so that you can focus on what is the content okay is that is that okay right sure bro thank you so initially uh, uh, when when maharaj released it it was more of 10 affirmations but later on it became uh, 20 but uh, let's focus on 10 today and then we can uh, quickly get into what is it okay um, th- this affirmations the word affirmation is more of something called uh, in our language or a way of understanding some kind of an uh, oath or some kind of uh, uh, a, a confirmation from our side that yes these are the things i will follow like for example when you when we have the 10 offenses against the holy name we focus on those um, ensuring that we don't do those specific offenses ensuring that we do not cross the line of uh, certain specific um, offenses has been underlined by our acharyas okay that is more of against it okay? these are these are more of um, a positive aspect of uh, saying how i will improve on my chanting a positive aspect on how i will get into an act by which my chanting individual my chanting improves okay so these are some of the things and uh, we will see some practical tips of okay so you can um, you can go through this also it is available in google it is available in every um, most of the common websites okay so without wasting time i will just go through each of them and then we can uh, we can see how um, it is at the end of the session you can do an introspection for yourself Uh, uh, by which you will be able to see okay if i do in this way i think i am better if i do in this way i am able to see it uh, much more progress so we can do that way and then we can see um, how uh, individually we can improve okay this is about the background about the uh, vedic test about hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so we know the potency we know the uh, importance we know the uh, shastric evidences so uh, we don't have to get into these things okay uh, i'll quickly get into this part also krishna's holy name is krishna himself many of the previous uh, wonderful uh, devotees who came uh, through in the sessions to share their knowledge share their realization would have already mentioned this but most important aspect is our internal attitude and motivation is is, is most important okay sunday morning is a different attitude compared to a monday morning uh, is is not a good sign of a chanting okay so we will focus on specific practice to help our um, our information okay i may be little fast 
but uh, this is like kind of a loading session we call it as loading learning and then uh, churning okay so you, this is like 20 minutes you just keep loading it you go back home i mean uh, into your own uh, free time and start churning on what is been told then you will start getting the understanding okay okay the leo the tamil part i'm just mentioning it the first one okay so since all of you are on mute you can always uh, read it out yourself the first one that you always have to do before sitting to chanting okay whatever be the time whatever be the situation place whatever be it i happily and enthusiastically welcome the holy name in every japa session okay which is very important okay it's not that oh prabhu ji is forcing it's not that senior is telling it's not that my wife is forcing me uh, so those things will never get into a real taste for japa ultimate goal uh, are we getting the real taste ultimate goal am i improving so keep that in mind always when you sit for the japa session always say, i am happy okay you repeat this okay i'm not going to repeat everybody you repeat yourself i happily and enthusiastically welcome the holy name every japa session okay so this should be our point okay because for as sadhana bhaktas without enthusiasm and motivation we will never be able to progress so every session it is not that okay 3 4 weeks it's okay after leave i will continue may month it's very hot i will not do so those things and all are the aspects by which you will never progress okay every session every moment is important okay this is the first one i happily and enthusiastically welcome the holy name okay so prabhupad always mentions when you start hari krishna mantra who is sitting in, in your tongue is called the nama prabhu or krishna himself is sitting on our tongue so it is like whenever you have a uh, an appointment with the with the prime minister or with the president or with a senior person you need to see that you are already uh, very thoroughly prepared you see that you are already knowing what you are going to talk you already know how to uh, invite him how to greet him how to make sure that conversation goes nicely right similarly every japa session is something like where you call krishna you ask him to come and sit and then you have an interaction you have a wonderful uh, way of interacting with him and then finally getting that taste right so that is how you are a mood and uh, uh, the nature should be right for example if somebody is coming to you, some uh, expect, some some guest you are expecting okay you prepare so nicely for them right so th- in that way we have to see how we can invite krishna on a every japa session right okay i'll go to the next one okay so i happily enthusiastically welcome the holy name every japa session so we need to create a positive mood we need to create a positive mood so this can be achieved in any place okay so in this way we are able to get that state of mind set first thing is the setting of the mind okay i easily chant my prescribed number of rounds with focus and attention the word here it means easily it's not that i so if you, when you go in in that direct of a direction what will happens that easily factor will go away and you feel like oh i am being pressurized okay so always have that mind chanting is easy chanting is very very easy chanting is able to do that so that easy part is very important because we are all bonded because we are all through the modes that easy factor if you are not going to take then all other things will become very very hard okay that is the most important part of this second affirmation so whenever you sit you are happy and you are also attentive and also you are it is very easy yeah it can be done i can do it so that kind of an attitude you should have. we should have okay because the mind goes here and there the mind is kind of a jumpy some monkey jumping monkey or the mind is sometimes a kind of river it will go anywhere and everywhere these are all some of the things you might have already gone through with many people but how quickly you are able to bring it back is what is immediately so many people will ask oh, i start chanting but it goes here and there it goes london to america to paris to san francisco to aurangabad to this place it goes everywhere yes it will go but at least you are refer- you are realizing that it is going that is more than enough if you realize that it is going more than enough then we are on the right track some day or the other it will always stay in delhi or it will always stay in vrindavan or it will always stay in mathura or it will always stay in whatever place you want okay so most important is our spiritual uh, in our spiritual journey in our spiritual path we do a lot of services we read books we do so many activities but most importantly chanting is also um, an important point important factor in my life in my spiritual path so that that part if we are able to uh, understand and then assimilate then we should be able to 
um, see that this is this is very helpful for me okay this is number 2 first one is happy and enthusiasm second one is being i am doing it easily okay third is very important okay so when i chant i chant it means what when i chant i don't do anything else i don't see the phone i don't see the tv i don't do, I do this thing i don't i don't listen to others i'm somebody is talking somebody is doing no when i chant i chant so every time whenever you sit and chant in front of tulsi marani or whenever you sit in front of any of the dts or when you sit alone or when you sit with a group of members always repeat yourself that okay i am chanting i am chanting when i chant i chant that's all okay because it is easy because it give me happiness i am chanting okay so at at your own place at your own um, situations whenever you see that okay this is the best place Uh, you you do uh, you do multiple types of rounds find out which is the best location for you um, i have seen many um, uh, many uh, brahmacharis many sanyasis they always sit in the same place same location for more than 15 20 years i have seen like you no know, they always sit there and they do their chanting okay uh, if you see in any temple whenever you go a morning uh, japa time you see they always sit in the same location same place continuously so they have already identified the place by atmosphere the location and the ambience environment whatever way you want to say it is giving them that particular opportunity to chant nicely okay so that is what you have to show so when you chant do not do anything else okay so that is what is it put your internal world also on hold okay so that is more important external world we will never be able to control we will say i will shut the room i will shut this this thing but the internal world is more important than shutting the external world okay so you know what is external world and internal world okay yeah. i get to fourth one okay i get to chant i want to chant and i love to chant okay so every day when we sit to chant you you get an opportunity to chant okay many of the many of the jivatmas many of people still have not got this wonderful opportunity of chanting but i have got the opportunity so i want to utilize this opportunity and i love to chant so the first is being happiness enthusiasm making it easy and after easiness comes the loving part or the most easiest thing is like you know it is not um, like oh i am easy to do it but at the same time i don't i don't like to do it no it is easy and as well as very very loving to do it okay so that is how progressively it will improve okay so it's a special opportunity because we are we are in this human birth we need to see that how fortunate we are all how fortunate we are all associated with mahaprabhu's movement how fortunate we are all under propar shelter how fortunate we are all under acharya shelter and then we'll be able to see this as a blessing and uh, don't miss this wonderful blessing opportunity okay so you ask yourself how do you feel if somebody is preventing prabhu don't do chanting now okay stop chanting if somebody is saying that what should be in your uh, what should be your mood oh that should be your lamentation right when uh, uh, in um, in bhagavad gita second chapter krishna bringing out what is meant by real lamentation okay there is something called as false lamentation or false worry okay so our our usually we are we our um, the so called compassion and worry is towards something not actual one okay if somebody is going to stop you from chanting that should worry you if somebody is going to say no no don't do this at that moment you should feel that oh i have lost the opportunity oh, i have to do it i have to chant okay so it should, it should go deep down into our heart so that we will be able to get those effects okay i i personally i have seen many times uh, i have come across certain situations in which we were not able to do chanting i i will share you one um, one quick example there is one very nice uh, prabhu in kumbakonam okay deep down south um, uh, and there is one devotee his name is uh, i'll tell you the name but he is from a totally different uh, religion okay he is from a muslim family but somehow he got the taste and then he he started chanting you know how does he chant so uh, uh, being a muslim person uh, that to deep down south is a lot of restriction so this person will go to the bathroom sit and chant on on the way walking from his he, his entire family was doing one business so every day morning if you see him he will never you will never believe him is a devotee he will have his cap he'll have his the small mustache and then he'll be walking okay so what he does is i'm talking about this from um, some 15 20 years ago so this devotee will walk all the way from his home to that particular uh, shop in which the whole family was running so during that walking time he will do the chanting 
slowly he will do so he in between the gullies he will go hide and then he will do the chanting this all happened now okay it is not during the 80s or 70s it is still happening now also okay so when um, when his only as loknath swami maharaj came he had the interaction he got um, he could he took the shelter and loknath maharaj uh, named him as haridas tak okay his name his name is haridas so we were all very happy and um, by the time you, when you see him you will never see that he is a devotee okay so it doesn't matter it doesn't mean that okay you are to do in that way but the person has got the devotee has got so much a love and affection towards the holy name and he still continue okay so i'm just sharing you this so that we will see that uh, others difficulties are much more bigger than our own problems okay so always see to that that way okay we always think our problems our situations our thing is not um, is not is, is the most biggest no okay so this is the fourth one I, when i whenever i get an opportunity i want to chant and i love to chant okay so the fifth one i treat the maha mantra as radha krishna present fully in sound okay this is the the, the sound vibration so whenever you say hare krishna definitely the word krishna implies the supreme person of god at sitting there and hare means the internal potency the power potency of shrimati radha rani sitting there this is directly referred by chila propad he has told us many times that don't just like that underestimate or never try to even estimate the the power of the maha mantra okay so whenever there are, there are many ways by which you will you will be able to remember the holy name or whenever you want to chant you can think about the picture you can think about the holy name um, written somewhere or you can think about the wonderful past times of the lord or the holy places those so these are all the ways by which you are able to uh, focus your mind focus your attention uh, in that way right so whenever you think i treat maha mantra as radha krishna fully present okay the word fully present is very important in this way you actually bow down to holy name it's not that okay you should then just chant uh, with the with your japa mala it is more as more of paying the obeisances to holy name okay so when you have that respect when you have that awe and reverence when you feel that you are you are praying your chanting is the way of praying you always feel that you are getting the reciprocation you always feel that yes i am getting the mercy of the lord today i am able to chant if tomorrow i am able to chant it is all because of the lord's mercy okay there are situations we we all know today it is one situation tomorrow will be a different situation but every moment i whenever i get to sit and chant i receive krishna's i feel krishna's presence the mercy and love in his holy name okay it is not through his prashadam or through the beautiful form these are all the other aspects but when you sit and chant the most important aspect is when you say hare krishna yes i am able to see i am able to feel i am able to see receive the holy name the mercy of the lord okay mercy can be in very ways many ways many things we can we can uh, understand but how do we understand when you sit and chant this is more important okay this is the sixth affirmation so whenever you sit and chant you always think yes i am blessed today i am getting krishna's mercy uh, krishna is giving mercy only to these people krishna is giving mercy no you have an opportunity to sit that means krishna is giving you the mercy right is krishna giving mercy means krishna is giving you the opportunity krishna is krishna is very happy with you krishna is directly interacting with you krishna is having the full relationship with you okay this is the sixth one you repeat okay i receive and feel krishna's presence mercy and love in his holy name okay so in other words do not create to struggle mercy so uh, so like i have to do this endeavor i have to do this i have to walk or i have to do this so no just simply by ch- chanting the holy name you will get the mercy right so that is more important that is how that is how namachari haridas thakur did that all the wonderful stalwart all the great vaishnavas everybody including prabhupad just by chanting prabhupad is able to establish the 108 temples just with the chanting and the mercy of his guru maharaj he was able to do everything right whenever whenever prabhupad somebody asks prabhupad prabhupad simply mentions the same thing every time right just by simply chanting right and seventh one i chant in full awareness that it is my treasure today i have this material possession today i have that possession today i have a car i have a bungalow i have a family these are all material possessions which will always go away or be temporary but what is going to be still with me till the last moment till the last moment of life is my treasure the 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 greatest treasure given by chaitanya mahaprabhu okay and for everybody anybody free 
right no qualification so you have to see that hari krishna mantra is my treasure it's not that oh it is wonderfully available everywhere it's a maha mantra so those are all outer aspects but internally what is the introspection that i got oh this is mine my holy name i'm sorry my treasure it is mine so you can always you, krishna is krishna is happy to become yours right krishna wants to be your under your hold so great great devotees great wonderful personalities whenever for example bilva mangal takur so many wonderful personalities whenever they sing krishna is so happy that they become whatever krishna, they want to do right in chaurashtram krishna is becoming a thief so the seventh one i repeat i chant in full awareness that the holy name is greatest treasure okay so this one you all know eighth i chant to please radha krishna not to gain anything material so we all know many of you might have already understood this i'm trying to do i'm trying to do but always focus that i chant to please radha krishna not to gain anything material okay that is most important plus last, last two i'm out of my mind in my heart fully present the holy name when i'm chanting okay this is again a practice this is a sadhana it may not come immediately but when you keep practicing your mind will go away and and your heart is fully present okay you might have gone through the difference between what is mind versus intelligence okay whenever mind says it is all satisfying your senses but when you go up on the intelligence part then intelligence will always take you to the right direction okay so your mind will always see that your senses are getting full your sunday morning let's sleep that's okay senses will say but when you apply intelligence no 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 papa get up get up get up so intelligence always say one step above the mind and it is always right okay so that is what krishna says in bhagavad gita don't follow your mind always follow your intelligence okay i am out of my mind and in my heart fully present to invite the holy name okay last most important thing is the relationship i fully honor my sacred relationship with the holy name during the japa so when you sit during this one hour one and a half hours two hours period see that you are your relationship you are a jivatma the supreme lord is there as the the, the bhagwan or the, your realization as anything like paramatma realization or your bhagwan realization or brahman realization whatever be it at any stage you see that you have your internal relationship and between the holy name it is not about those uh, very detailed ones but at least at the holy name part yes i have a very holy uh, connection between me myself and the holy name and i am honoring it okay so that honoring part when it comes then you will see that yes i am doing it very nicely okay so this is the quick uh, aspects of it the next 12 uh, sometime whenever you can go go, uh, go to google you can search this it is always there you can always run through and then um, practice it but my uh, my humble suggestion uh, at your uh, lotus feet always try to see that whenever you sit to chant at least the first um, first 10 whatever we have seen you try to uh, take one minute to see that what am i doing am i doing in the right direction am i am i very attentive am i having that feeling that today i am doing it perfectly today i am very easily doing it i have uh, i can see the lord's mercy flowing in i have seen that relationship between the holy name is very thorough and i am doing it whole heartedly so if you have that affirmation every time when you sit take that pass just one minute and then that will be it okay so this these are things we'll we'll take it up later then we can focus okay so key focus points understanding the purpose understanding the meaning understanding the position importance of pronunciation you you are chanting between loud 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 versus murmuring plus silent chanting your place your time all those things focus on it you will get it okay hare krishna hare krishna mahamantra ki jai shila prabha hare ki jai Ananta Koti Vaishnava Ji, Ki Jai. Thank you very much, Prabhu Ji, for taking us through these important affirmations, which will, which will definitely help improve our chanting. You know, very, very important uh, points. Uh, you know, how to be happy, uh, how chanting. We should have affirmation that it is easy. We have to chant in love, with relationship, care, attention. So, thank you very much, Prabhu Ji. Uh, I. i just want to open the floor for any questions or comments uh, you will not be able to unmute yourself you can drop them on the chat box i'm sorry due, due to some technical error you will not be able to unmute but you can drop your comments and questions in the chat and we'll take them up
So I'll wait for a minute. What is the question? How to remain when we are improving in chanting? Shikhar Prabhu, I think you are on mute. You are on mute. Uh, how do I understand this question, Prabhu? Yeah. How to uh, the question is how to remain humble uh, when we are improving in our chanting. Okay. Being uh, generally, Prabhupada also mentioned being humble is not that easy task. Okay. So uh, outwardly, we might say, "Oh, I am very humble, Prabhu. Oh, this, this thing, and all." So generally, uh, being humble is is more at the state of mind rather than exhibiting it outside. Okay, so that's the first aspect of it. First aspect of it is not just okay. I'm I'm trying to sit. I'm going to. Uh, I'm following. I'm just following at the feet. Those are all the external aspects of it. Being humble always refers to being humble in the mind. Um, so when you say being humble in the mind, so as I mentioned in one of the affirmations, it is said that when you chant, you see that uh, Radha Krishna is always there. you see that krishna is already in front of you you see that nama prabhu the, the 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 supreme lord is dancing on your tongue so when you see and we always see that that is what uh, is giving me giving me the happiness that is what is giving me that um, uh, taste to do more chanting then definitely uh, the humble part will always come out okay it's not that you have to uh, make an effort make a specific effort to become humble no not required when you are focusing on your chanting when you are focusing on our activities humbleness will automatically come okay it, it is not that you do a prayatnam a prayatnam means you do a, you make an effort to become humble is completely not required thank you prabhuji so uh, i see that now you can unmute yourselves okay if you have any questions or come So there is a Dalwar Pranam Prabhu Ji very motivational session. My question is, if I am not well and feel that walking and chanting is wrong, but only way uh, now to chant this, then there is a struggle all the time while chanting. So how to overcome? Okay. So first of all, please understand there is nothing wrong. Uh, at what stage you are chanting whether who who there's no definition uh, or a perspective like you know you shouldn't walk and chant okay there is nothing like thing like okay and second aspect is um, right now you, if there are certain situations which you which you definitely make you in a situation where you are completely bedridden or you are not able to hold your chanting bag or you able to chanting bag it is absolutely fine okay the aspect of how you see it is um what kind of uh, time you spend for chanting first aspect second aspect is how you are spending chanting if you are not able to do chanting in the with your bead okay due to certain specific very very rare situations at least chant through the mind through that particular time okay if you are i have seen many devotees during uh, their travel time during this time also due to various situations they will be in seva something all that but still they will be using various equipments or using their mind itself to continue the chanting okay so even if you are not well it doesn't really matter okay even if you skip the round even if you so if you don't know whether you are doing 108 these are all will will actually accumulate or will kind of add to your credit and then after you become well it will definitely improve you see that you are able to see more rounds of chanting okay so in the in the bottom line there is nothing harm there is no issue in terms of not performing your daily chanting in certain aspects because of your physical constraints it is absolutely fine okay thank you for any other question or comment as as i said now you can unmute yourself if you want to or you can still drop on the chat box prabhu ji hari krishna ji dhanyawad pranam yes prabhu kabhi kabhi hari naam ruchi nahi rehta hai to bojh bojh lagta hai to usse रुचि 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 
इम्पोर्टेंट स्टोरी है ठीक है तो आपकी वॉट इज द स्वीट दैट यू ऑलवेज लाइक whatever is uh, sweet whatever sweet you tell me no what what sweet you like matlab aisa kuch nahi sweet ka matlab kuch nahi okay uh, i'll tell you the it's called bullet okay for example gulab jamun okay so i have the gulab jamun in my hand okay. i'm i'm starting the session wow this gulab jamun is wonderful this gulab jamun is made by mata ji this gulab jamun is uh, offered to jagannath this gulab jamun has been done for so many i keep on saying this What is going in your mind? उसको खाना है। अरे प्रभु stop talking give it to me। <laughs> I want to taste it। Okay, that is how it is। So the more and more you keep talking about there's no there's no nothing going come। Okay, so you just swallow it, you just take it, you'll definitely get it। Okay, that is how it is all। Even you whatever be it when somebody says oh, this is coming no. it is all your own individual part okay so the test will it is like prabhupad always says when you want to chant how do you get the chant is only again chanting only there is nothing called oh for chanting i am adding this extra flavor or that flavor nothing is going to come for chanting to get you uh, taste ruchi you have to again continue chanting only okay thank you so much try you will definitely thank you hari krishna suresh prabhu do you have a question you have raised your hand प्रॉपर so how to keep the chanting as always high high priority and making to to happen at the, uh, the early early morning time so generally what we do is uh, we see that this is uh, uh, i mean again i i mean this applies to everybody even to me also everybody so uh, what we typically do is um, whatever be the situation like uh, if you want to make it little hard if you don't do morning chanting you skip your breakfast can you skip your breakfast can you skip your lunch or can you skip whatever be it so i have done the i have taken up those punishments also okay so um, i have, in that way I, we we also say like you know oh i have skipped my chanting i will not eat then you will see that oh no 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 better i will do my chanting then i will go to eating so like that if you are able to bring down certain uh, certain certain austerity in yourself okay eating is one uh, skipping your lunch is on austerity or skipping food uh, in terms of certain specific things or you think okay i will take only bitter things i will not do this i will not watch tv today certain other things above it will make you sh- make sure that okay i am i'm forced to get into this by uh, by certain enforcement prabhupad always says by your enforcement the empowerment empowerment part of uh, making it regular will always come right so initially sundays it will be tough only yes it is for everybody it is tough but you see that okay if i don't do this i'm not going to do the other thing like that if you are able to bring yourself uh, in a situation then automatically you will be like okay. okay this is initial days but once you get as as i was mentioning once you get the taste once you make it regular habit prabha i mean krishna himself in bhagavad gita says if you have that as a regular habit then you will also, you will easily get it okay you make chanting as your habit good habit then you will get it okay thank you prabhu thank you so any any last question or comment anyone has practical tips to focus very simple when you sit and chant what is it makes you happy oh, last time somebody was mentioning oh when i when i went to vrindavan i saw this picture when i went to so whatever be it either you think about krishna's photo or krishna's name or krishna's past times or krishna's uh, leela or uh, last time when did you go to temple last time what was krishna's dressing last time what was so like that you keep engaging your mind when you engage your mind on krishna's uh, holy name or uh, the, the various past times okay you, you have seen krishna last time i went to barsana i walked here last time i went to ramandrethi uh, i went to mayapur whatever be it you start thinking okay even local south indian temple or any temple also you start focus you, you, you start engaging your mind when your mind is engaged on anything related to krishna that is more than enough you are doing perfect chant 
okay i think you will stop here thank you very much uh, prabhuji if you can take one more like nishan prabhu has raised his hand okay nishan prabhu ah uh, hare krishna prabhuji dhanyavad pranam hari bol prabhu uh, sorry bro i am asking second question here ah uh, prabhuji i just wanted to uh, understand uh, your personal journey prabhuji on the improvement of the quality of chanting from where you started to <clears throat> where you are today because that really inspires us hearing from elevated devotees hari krishna yeah. so whatever i mentioned i have gone through the same uh, the same things okay uh, but what uh, what really helped me is like this kind of japa sessions um, sunday morning we all uh, in one of the community apartments where we were living we all come together and forcefully start doing it okay uh, initially the force was very tough it is like bitter swa- like very swallowing the tablet it was very tough okay i have gone through the t- tough situations uh, but now i see that it is all so silly okay so um, initial days yes it was tough but after that uh, uh, somebody told me like you know when you sit and chant uh, what is that makes you happy okay the really what makes me happy was um, whenever i as i mentioned Uh, i always think about some wonderful places that i visited during brindavan okay i will force myself today i am going to think about uh, radha raman that's all so my chanting will be going on but at the same time i will start thinking about the entire story of radha raman how it came where is gopal patta goswami how did it happen who brought it how the shaligram changed how it happened now how it is like last time when i went so mind will be going on one complete direction but i am happy that it is going on the right direction my chanting also go. but that helped me to focus on my chanting and slowly every time like i i went through that entire session like i go to, go through like 6 months of yeah 10 30 okay then. then we were happy okay so try to bring that way and then you will be able to quickly get it thank you so much prof hari krishna hari krishna thanks thanks all of you for asking wonderful questions and thank you very much pravri uh, for sharing your wisdom with us it will undoubtedly definitely improve and help us with with chanting uh, definitely definitely hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna dandar pranam pranam hare krishna dandar pranam pranam thank you for class hare krishna dandar pranam hare krishna krishna krishna